Hi, I'm Garrett Wilmarth, and we're here at Fox and Superfine. We got Troy with us and Mitch from DJB. Uh, we've been having some problems running some clear lenses for Vipers, and they're going to come down and give us a hand and give us a couple pointers. Excellent. So, awesome. Troy, what you got set up with that mold here? This looks suspiciously similar to what we did with John. So. Yeah, yeah, very similar. So, yeah, they've got a, a, a semi-complicated part in terms of uh, long, skinny, lots of places for uh, bubbles to get caught. And so we're going to... We're going to run through um, some a new material system just with a little more lower viscosity, and then we're going to try out a different vent strategy, different fill port strategy um, compared to doing a syringe injection. So we're going to look at doing a gravity pour, uh, venting it, tilting it up, and then we're going to see how we get it. And for for guys like me, why why the tilt? Why the rakish tilt to the mold? Well, if you have a bunch of vents or a bunch of geometry where you've got venting it's always good to tell the air where to go. So if it's flat, the air will just rise to the ceiling and it may get stuck there. So when we go like that, the air knows to go high and we're gonna fill from the low part and all that hydraulic pressure pushes the air out of the mold without a whole bunch of extra magic that you gotta do to it. So actually, this just let gravity do the job for you. Excellent, and we're doing, what, what do we have here? We have a WC85DM, Water Clear 85DM. Elizabeth, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, we're going to tape this up and uh, get some gloves on and get, get on mixing. Yeah, so we're going to mix up. This is WC85DM. It's got about 15 minute work time. Um, the ratio is 100 parts A to 65 parts B by weight. And since the part weighs about 75 grams, we're just gonna double it because that'll give us plenty in the funnel. And again, it's, we don't want too short of a shot. So we wanna have to make sure we have a little extra on this one just to see how it pours. Um, so I'm just gonna do 100 grams of A and 65 grams of B to make it easy. It's about right. You're doing that in a plastic mixing cup. I heard you saying something to Garrett about the paper cups. Yeah, with a lot of materials that aren't overly moisture sensitive, you can get away with paper, wax paper cups. It's okay, and even wood stir sticks. But for the clears, um, again, we want to make sure that we get a, a really good degas. And so sometimes the strong degassing vacuum will pull bubbles from the cracks of these. So it's why fight it? Let's just use a, a plastic cup. And then we also avoid the moisture and everything. So we're going to use a little silicone mixing apparatus too. It's just a minimize any of the variables so we get the clearest bubble-free part we can. Carefully pour there. And this tall funnel is great because it gives you a uh, head pressure. It gives you like a hydraulic effect of getting the, the resin in there. And so you can, you can see it dropping. And this is a pretty small opening, so it's actually more of a vent than like a a larger mouth pour, pour spout, but that's fine.
So it's the next day, and as you can see, Troy is back in California, and Garrett is off today, but Elizabeth is here to help, so we're going to demold this and check out our uh, taillight cover and give uh, Troy a complete report by way of the interwebs. And this is one of the nice things about these little vents like this, when you connect those on the edge of a part, they just pop right off. So pretty easy vent removal by just twisting these and, and popping them off. Okay, there is our part, and that is a, a beautiful uh, taillight lens cover. So we're gonna go ahead and finish demolding, but you see that uh, those vents popped right off, so minimal minimal cleanup, minimal flashing here.